Hello, beautiful beings. Welcome back to my channel. Who are you being? Who are you? Who are you outside of your manifesting? Who are you being outside of this manifesting world? I think it is very important on your journey to take a second to stop and reflect on who are you as a person? Who are you in relation to your manifestations? Who are you in relation to your behaviors? I am going to try to not rant for too long, but I have been in this manifesting journey for about eight years now and I have been a part of a few Facebook groups here and there and I've noticed a trend with some people they want this thing they're you know they're they're working towards this manifestation but in real life they're like a-holes now I will say this, manifestation works for everyone. Everything in this world is a manifestation. Hitler manifested all the shit, shitty, disgusting stuff that he did. Manifestation works for everybody regardless of you being a good person or a bad person. But Neville says, to always follow the golden rule, to not do unto others what you, you wouldn't want it to be done to yourself. He even goes as too far to explain what happens to you when you consciously try to manifest negative things for other people. It goes back to you, okay? If you're in this journey and you're trying to manifest your specific person, and for example, you're trying to manifest your specific person, you have to check your behaviors. Check your behaviors. How are you being as a human? Everything is part of one. Everyone is you pushed out. Everyone and everything is you pushed out. You should treat everyone the way that you want to be treated. How are you talking to your specific person? Are you being disrespectful? Are you condescending towards them? Are you constantly trying to manipulate them? Are you doing this subconsciously because you have you have trauma, you have childhood trauma that has created this anxious attachment within you. You now have created this trauma bond with your person. Are you behaving based out of that? But then you're trying to manifest this and then you're wondering why your manifestation keeps on falling. Who are you being? Are you constantly picking up, picking fights with your family, picking fights with your partner? Are you constantly trying to find something to complain about? Are you only reaching your reaching out to your manifestation buddies when you need something from them, but you're never really, really there for them? I want you to take a second to check yourself because everyone is you pushed out. Are you trying to take advantage of people? How is your behavior? Are you always a taker, never a giver? All of these things affect your energy and affect your being overall. Try to be a fucking good person, okay? This is a little, a little more to the point video. Try to be a good person. Try to sit with yourself. This is why I have been trying to add content to my channel that is a little more diversified into you learning 
attachment styles, trauma, learning about your emotional body, because all of these things are connected and they make up your personality, your behavior. Check your behavior. Why do you react to things the way that you do? Why do you see the world the way that you do? Nothing is set in, to in stone. You can change everything, but before you can change it, you need to acknowledge that there's a problem. And you cannot acknowledge that there's a problem until you sit down and you stop and you question yourself. And you be like, why am I reacting like this? Why am I constantly thinking this way? What is going on? You can change everything about you. Your essence is perfect. There is nothing imperfect about you. We are gods. God resides within each and every one of us. But we have been brainwashed. We have been programmed from even before we are born, generational stuff has been put into our energy field. And we can change all of that. But before we can change it, we need to acknowledge that there is a problem. And we cannot acknowledge that until we stop and think, why are we behaving the way that we are behaving? There is no one bad out there. Every person, even the worst of the worst, have a beginning. Go back. Stop. Think, go into yourself. Why is it that I behave this way? It might be unfair. It might not be unfair. In this manifesting a specific person, in my being, in my behaving like the person that has the relationship that I want. Am I behaving like the person that has the manifestation that I want? If I was looking for a marriage with a specific person, I want this peace and I want this, am I being that person now? Are you being that person? Who are you? Who are you? I'll tell you a little secret. I mean, it's not a secret, but you guys don't know about it yet because I haven't spoken about it. Years ago, it really got into my mind that I wanted to know I wanted to know more about where I come from. I wanted to know what was in my DNA. I am Dominican, but I had a lot of Middle Eastern people confusing me for Middle Eastern. So it got me curious, because I've always been the curious type. It got me curious to see what else was I besides Dominican. And there, I have so many mixes and it's just amazing to me because it was part of understanding who I was. I took a personality test. You can take one too. It helped me in understanding who I was. And after understanding more about myself, then I could be like, okay, I don't like that. I don't like that. We're going to work on that. Okay? And everything is for your benefit. Every little thing that you can do to help you understand yourself more, to help you feel better, to help you let go of all of that Luggage, all of that trauma, all of those negative beliefs is for your better. Who are you being? Let me know if you want me to make a video about personality styles and how to take a test and how to change some of those. If you like this content, please give it a thumbs up. It helps the algorithm love this content then please subscribe please 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 subscribe i'm trying to get monetized so that i can start to make some moves to be able to come up with even more content for you guys 
And if you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, my information is always in the description box below. I love you guys. I love you. And until next time, bye.